have our first trailer for Joker Folie Adieu. I was a huge fan of the first Joker, but I have no idea how you do a sequel to that movie, and I have no idea what it means that it's a musical, so I am very curious about this trailer for all of the obvious reasons, and let's do this. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Are they going for it? Let's get out of here. What's changed, Arthur? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. We're not alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. Alrighty, real quick before I share my thoughts, be sure to join me down below in the comment section. Let me know what did you think about the first trailer for Joker 2 and what was your thoughts on the original Joker? What are you expecting from this film? All of that fun stuff. There was a lot in there. I'm going to watch it one more time and then I'm going to start talking. Today's video is brought to you by Raycon. It's that time of the year where I have to mow my lawn every single weekend. I'm trying to work out more and everything is better with Raycon's everyday earbuds. Raycon's offer amazing quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Don't believe me? How about their tens of thousands of five-star reviews? Raycon's optimized gel tips are designed to comfortably fit into your ears to actually stay there, whether you're going for a jog or mowing the lawn. With eight hours of playtime and 30 32 hours of battery life, whatever I'm up to, they're up for the task. Over this past weekend, I went to a film festival in Louisiana, I had to fly out there, wait in a bunch of lines, fly back, the whole time I'm using my Raycons, and on a single charge, they were able to last the entire trip. They have three customizable sound profiles, so I can get perfect sound whether I'm listening to music or an audiobook. They also have a noise isolation mode as well as an awareness mode so I can hear what my kids are up to while still listening to an audiobook. Go to buyraycon.com slash Sean Chandler today to get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's right, you'll get 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Sean Chandler. Buyraycon.com slash Sean Chandler. Alrighty, so now we have seen our first trailer for Joker Folly Adieu, and I'm still not sure exactly how this thing's gonna work, but I have a better idea of somewhat of the plot of the film. Doing a very strongly adapted version of mad love about Joker and Harley falling in love, but pretty clearly changing up Harley's origin story, at least based off what I could see in the trailer, it seems that way. But leaning heavily into their twisted, disturbing romance um, and all of the chaos that will come with that, 
But then even from there, tried to make sense of some of the images and how much of them were real, how much of them were, how were, were they in his head? What exactly do the images mean? I'm not really sure. And likewise, when they say there's, I mean, their description of the number of musical numbers in it in different quotes here and there is just baffling. <laughs> it's tough to take what they said before and merge that with what the original Joker film is. And it's tough to even merge it with what we saw right here, unless there's just a bunch of these them going to go see these shows and musical numbers and they're watching them. And that's what they mean by it's a musical. But that would itself be a very strange way to continue the first Joker film. So what I thought worked really well about the original Joker is the way that it it really was this tragedy where you're rooting for Arthur. You want him to succeed, find his confidence. But the tragedy is that the path by which he finds it is the path to becoming a supervillain. It's so destructive and evil. And so it's very conflicted with the feelings that you have on the journey. And I don't know how you follow that up, how you continue to have that type of journey, path, arc that you can connect with the character and care for them and root for them while at the same time being horrified with the end results of that thing that you're rooting for. And maybe there's some version of that if you continue the idea of his loneliness and finds love, but that love leads to chaos. But in its own way, that's just rehashing the same arc as before, but this time instead of finding purpose in the Joker and the comedy of chaos, all that, this time it's through this twisted romance, but I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm still very fascinated with what they're going to do with this thing. They didn't rush it out. They took their time to, took five years to, to roll this thing out. So hopefully that meant that they really have something special planned. It doesn't seem like Joaquin Phoenix just jumps at anything, wouldn't haphazardly do his sequel. So there was something there that interested him in wanting to do this film. Hopefully they can tap into what I loved about the first film and do something wildly different, subversive, interesting, creative, and while continuing this bizarro Joker origin story, maybe it'd be something really special. I don't know. I just don't know what to make of it because it's such a strange description for the film. Um, and the, the last one was such a self-contained unit that I just don't know where you go. What did you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. I'm excited to see it. It's, it's one of those ones where you're curious. Like, I don't know if it'll be good. I don't know if it'll be like a infamously bad sequel, but it's interesting. Maybe that's the way to phrase it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.